show, everybody. Welcome. Hello, I'm Mark Thomas. Welcome to the show time from the front line. Before we get going, I am going to... This is a good story. You're going to like this. Um, but before we get going, I'm going to introduce you to the cast. Would you please welcome on stage colleagues, friends and cast members, Ala Shahada and Faisal Abu Heja. <laughs> In 2009, I walked the length of the Israeli wall on the West Bank. And uh, people said, you've got to go to Janine, to the Freedom Theatre. And I was like, no, but it's not by the wall. And we went. And it was the most remarkable place going, a theatre in a refugee camp, which was just magnificent. And there's this spirit and energy of creativity and resistance. And I just thought, oh, I, want, I want this. <laughs> I want to be part of this. Uh, the other thing you need to know about Faisal is he is uh, he performs in hospitals. He's a clown and he goes around performing to sick people because he finds it advantageous to perform to audiences who can't run away. <laughs> so this is Faisal. Please give him a round of applause. Uh, it's a new experience for me. It's first time as a, a comedy show. Usually, I did the clowns before, some masks, uh, but uh, stand-up comedy, it's like a new experience. And we would like to surprise the audience, you know? This is the main thing of this production, what, what makes me happy, to break the stereotype of Palestinian. You know, everybody expecting, like, you are a victim or terrorist or what, or this or that. But suddenly, we will make them laugh. But at the same time, I promise you, they will cry. Yes, my friend, I call him the catastrophe. <laughs> he's always in a battle between his tongue and his body. His body speaks before his tongue. <laughs> he, in fact, we called him the physical Tourette. <laughs> uh, of course, I, the English is my, not my main language, but because I'm an actor, I do. I had many classes, many experiences with the English speakers, so it's a bit much easier. The funny thing is not about how much English my English is good. The funny thing is how much when I translate the Arabic idea into the English idea. There it will become funny. Ah, Despacito. I was walking in a very dark neighborhood and I was feeling horny. Sex. I saw a donkey. Obscene sex. <laughs> I talk the tale of the donkey. Graphic obscene sex. The tour goes on until the end of April. We finish up here. What I love about this place, this is the Theatre Royal, right? This is the home of popular radical theatre. You go around here, you go backstage, there's posters for Brendan Behan plays, do you know what I mean? You have got Schweik in the, in, in, in the First World War plays. You've got all this stuff around you that is about radical popular theatre. And actually, I can't think of a better place to be. I cannot think of a better place. We have got someone who's an absolute doyen of the Pretentious Poetry Club. Please welcome Allah. Woo! Oh, sorry. It's the story of Mark trying to teach stand-up comedy with his friend Sam to a bunch of young performers who are all fairly recently trained performers. Most of them have got some kind of performance experience, but there's very little experience of doing stand-up comedy in the room. So. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's both teaching, it's a story about teaching, it's a story about uh, what is funny, what isn't funny, and then of course because of the setting, lots of other stories fall out of that. Stand-up is, part of stand-up is, is about telling stories, about biography, and that's what the show relies on actually, the, the, the people who were, were part of the workshop and the stories that they, that they shared. Yes. Partly, but yes. it was partly kind of an authentic one, and then partly yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, in terms of the humour, uh, that I think that comes mainly out of, out, again, out of the stories, out of the situations, out of the differences in culture sometimes. What I'm really keen on, what I'm really excited by, is the opportunity to give a different perspective on, on the Palestinian experience. I want to be the Palestinian woman too. Like everybody expecting you to be like a martyr, to be wanted for the Israelis. But I should inspire me to share my dream on the street.